Welcome back. You are watching News Center. The government is considering higher financial incentives for IT hardware companies under the PLI scheme in order to boost investments. The PLI scheme for IT hardware has so far seen a muted response. The government plans to increase financial outlay to around 19,000 crore rupees and double the incentive rates for the sector. Presently, the draft proposal has been circulated within the industry for a feedback. It's yet to go to the cabinet. Let me go across now to Aruna Sharma, former secretary of the Ministry of Electronics and IT, Pankaj Mohindru, chairman of the India Cellular and Electronics Association. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Aruna Sharma, why do you think the, the PLI scheme for IT hardware in this form did not really take off? Was it because the incentive size was too small for some of the bigger players like Apple, like Samsung for that matter? Uh, let me put it this way. The PLI scheme was very effective when we got the uh, mobile assembly manufacturers in India. And that time the handholding was done by giving them an advantage. Today, you have an import duty, zero duty, as per the signatory of this 19971TA-1, which allows completely built unit at zero duty to be imported. So on one hand, you have an import competition with a zero duty, and second hand is to encourage the local mm -hmm. manufacturer. So therefore, it is very important to have a holistic thing in this policy, and that's why you did get applicants. and. Uh, then if you look at the qualifying numbers they have put for the investment and production, now these qualifying numbers are very high. I think very few will qualify for this uh, whenever they are going, and therefore there is a need to have a relook. Then parallelly, PLI scheme has to be sort of uh, in sync with your other schemes that you are doing, like your gem portal. You know, you have come up with an amendment in the rule where uh, you are talking about, uh, you know, 200 crores uh, calculation of a local manufacturer. And that is something which the entire sector is little concerned about because then it sort of creates a problem if they are not going to get a public procurement in a very big way. And if you look at it, then uh, to be qualified as a class one focal supplier status, uh, it becomes very, very difficult for them to get because original equipment manufacturing in India contract has to be worked out to that lessons. So the idea is very good to encourage the local manufacturing, but then there is a chain of it. And there has to be like GST, you should have the credits pass on. So whatever a local manufacturer is making a parts of it or some portions of it, which slowly starts getting indigenized, then definitely that kind of a credit should be there made available to them. And it is very, very important that this okay. local content, what we are talking about, has to be worked in mm. sync. And that is one of mm. the reasons that your PIL scheme, along with the procurement mm. policies, along with other policies, they all have to be synced to get a better response from the manufacturers. All right. Let me get in Pankaj Mohindru to get an industry view. Uh, Pankaj Mohindru, the government has been consulting industry bodies, also some of the global manufacturers to understand what they really want, what the PLI scheme is missing right now. What is the kind of feedback you've received from uh, the likes of Apple, Samsung, Dell, HP, for that matter? Uh, you know, we are uh, extremely happy that uh, the government is constantly reevaluating. Uh, policies and you're on mute uh, sir Sorry. no i'm not uh, i'm not on mute can you hear me okay my apologies yes uh, uh, is the government is constantly reevaluating uh, schemes which have not taken off uh, as expected and i think the uh, you see, PLI is not about public procurement, etc. PLI is about creating global scale and getting India a place in the global manufacturing ecosystem, uh, which also includes uh, the domestic uh, market, which is uh, quite tiny uh, as far as uh, IT hardware is concerned. We are just about 2% of the world. Now, in the $300 billion uh, aspiration target, uh, which we are determined to achieve, that cannot be done only on uh, smartphones. The other verticals have to kick in. So we have a substantial number for IT hardware by 25, 26, which is about 25 to $30 billion. 
Uh, with 25 to 30 billion dollars also, we are just about 12 to 15 percent of the global market. But that is what we are trying to achieve. Now, certainly, uh, there is deep concern about the rising import, which has uh, reached about $8 billion. It's a very fast-growing category. Uh, although the market size is very small in India compared to global market. So that, uh, plus the fact that uh, we are not uh, wanting to have any import substitution policy here because of the fact that, you know, a global scale is trying to be created. So on these uh, bases, the scheme which was giving an average of 2.2% uh, did not find too much favor with the industry. And now uh, the, the revision which is uh, being discussed uh, seems to be, uh, you know, seems to be such that it will have a positive impact. And uh, we are very confident that, uh, you know, most uh, companies will, uh, uh, you know, take advantage of this and look at the targets very seriously. And I think it's still in the making, but uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, cautiously optimistic about the outcomes now. Okay. And uh, Mr. Mohindra, could you also give us a sense of what are the additional components which will be added to the scheme? Right now, we know about tablets, laptops, servers, all-in-one PCs, which are covered under uh, the current PLI framework for IT hardware. What could Scheme 2.0 have in terms of additional components? It's it's in discussion at the moment, but the, uh, there is additional, uh, what is being planned, the structure which is being planned, are additional uh, benefits you get on uh, deepening the value chain. Uh, so there are components, uh, sub-assemblies like PCB, PCBA, you know, battery pack, power module, uh, the mechanics, which is the chassis, uh, you know, mechanics is loosely used for smartphones. So here some different terminologies are used because this is a much older industry then the display panel, then the memory modules, the assembling of the memory modules, uh, the assembling of the solid state drive. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we have these uh, two microprocessors, Shakti and Vega, which are there now, which India has uh, been able to produce. Now, if a SOC, a system on chip, on these uh, microprocessors is uh, created, then there is a additional uh, benefit which is envisaged. That is really deep and profound, and you know uh, this is a this is a aspiration which is uh, very audacious. But uh, I think the way we are uh, able to make things happen, uh, this will also uh, happen. But of course, uh, a lot of uh, ducks need to be lined up for that, which is. Uh, you know, our academic institutions, our SOC uh, uh, companies, uh, which includes uh, startups and companies which are already, uh, you know, mm -hmm. doing it. So all these things will have to be lined mm -hmm. up, the productization, and then finally okay. what we are able to do uh, in terms of taking these products to the market. Uh, this will be, these SOCs will be all available right. to all that is there. So on one side, there is the, organic okay. uh, stuff which is the hardware which has to be uh, put together uh, the sub assemblies and the right. other components which i mentioned and then this parallel exercise of uh, right. the use of shakti and vega with the socs this is what uh, the broad uh, okay. uh, discussions uh, are all right those are the broad contours uh, ms sharma coming back to you from what we are getting to know from the government the current incentives range from 1 to 4%. One to 4%. Uh, it increases over a four-year period. And in the, in the new scheme that the government is uh, discussing right now, the incentives could be in the range of 4.5 to 7.5%. Uh, would this be good enough to attract some of the larger electronic manufacturers? And what would be the most important piece in the puzzle, according to you? Uh, you are very the right. Incentives in the earlier scheme are actually going down. They they come down. 
that's the architecture is like that it's they don't four to one percent four to one percent it's four to one percent no it's four to one percent yes yeah uh, yeah mr four to yes wanted to mention about it that and the idea is good that incentive is uh, something india being a huge market it is very very important that in, uh, everybody is looking at it and encouraging it with the make in india concept where we want to import replacement it is very important to make these people who are ready to invest in india and shift their uh, manufacturing from other places or their parent countries or other countries to india uh, the government procurement you know it should not be incurred, uh, sort of ignored because if you if i take the example of laptop 50% is now important and it may go to 10000 crores of all you know uh, in coming days so in the sense if it is to be cross checked every piece of the market should be made attractive to these people who are investing in india whether it is the public sector procurement whether it's a market sales that is happening and therefore imports uh, uh, substitution incentive is to be given in policy money is not the main driver as far as the hardware industry is concerned in the subsidy part of it what is more important is a reverse engineering from the market preference let me give you an example what we did in steel we said the preference will be given to those who make in india and that did the trick when we started giving the preference they don't need so much of uh, these kind of an incentive initially money incentive is fine to give it a push it is a market which sits on the driving seat and that okay. is where this policy should focus upon they doing a reverse engineering that from the market of creating a market by allowing them as a preference uh, preference thing whether it's a uh, your gem platform procurement whether it's a market procurement allowing them and import substitution policy assistance or facilitation all this when it sinks then definitely it is going to trigger on people are interested people will apply to it and the whole chain of uh, upstream and downstream will also start getting shifted to india so that is going to make a huge difference plus there is a talk now going about uh, of uh, sort of bringing similar to pli scheme for the semiconductors and that is also going to trigger it off when we are talking of the semiconductors that you have to get the latest of the technology it can't be outdated technology because it's a fast moving technology of the hardware so the mistake which we did in the previous scheme and i will agree to that that it's not just assembly we want actual manufacturing to happen in india and that is the trigger point of the pli that is the intention of pli that should be the focus of the pli all right we've run out of time but thank you very much ms sharma and ms pankaj mohindru for uh, joining us uh, we believe that uh, the government would very soon like to take this to the cabinet for approval pli 2.0 for uh, the it hardware industry thank you very much for joining us on this edition of news center news continues on cnbc tv 18